due to last revelations of counseling decision of Benedict XVI of being a Pope, I will read for you the Conversation with Nostradamus, Volume 1, Dolores Canon, Chapter 15, The Last Three Popes. Strangely, although the Antichrist was supposed to emerge from a Muslim country, the Catholic Church was to play an important part in his devious plans. He would use the church for his own ends in the same manner that he would use other countries to gain the power he desired. He appeared to have a very warped and diabolical mind. Without Nostradamus' warnings, through these predictions, I believe it would have been impossible to imagine that any human could be capable of such twisted thinking. I have tried to arrange them in a chronological sequence. This is a difficult task because they often refer to several events separated in time. Century 846. Paul the celibate will die three leagues from Rome. The two nearest flee the oppressed monster. When Mars will take up his horrible throne, the cock and the eagle, France and the three brothers. He says that the present Pope will be on one of his many journeys when he dies. He will be away from the Vatican and one of his trips when he lives is no more. This will be at the time of the Antichrist has begun to stir and to flex his power. The two cardinals nearest the Pope will realize the danger of their church and they will close themselves up in the Vatican to try to protect themselves from what is to come. Then the oppressed monster is, is the Antichrist. Does this mean that all this will take the place during the present Pope's lifetime? He says these events will start towards the end of his lifetime. He will die when this will has begun to come to pass. He says that is why there are only two popes left to go up to the destruction of the church. This was a surprise. Then the majority of these uh, uh, prophecies about the Antichrist will take place after the present pope dies. And here are only two more popes after that. He says that neither pope uh, will last very long due to the troublesome times. One moment please, pause. He says the present pope will be assassinated. He is a good man and he honestly is striving for world peace. However, he is not in touch with his spiritual center the way he should be for this position. But he is desirous enough of world peace so that unbeknownst, unbeknownst to the world in general he is working against some established power parties within the Roman Church. So a point will come in which this in the Roman Church who want to hold on to their will and power will advise the Pope, they will misadvise the Pope so that he will be placed in the situation that is dangerous to him. But he will not be aware of the danger. Due to this assassination of the present Pope, there will be a lot of unrest and uh, rioting and such in Rome. And he says the next Pope will not last very long. The rest of his quatrain will be interpreted in chapter 22, page 273. Century 1197. Roman pontiff, beware of approaching a city watered by two rivers. You will spit blood in that place, both you and yours, when the roses bloom. Little interruption. Comment. So, this book was written in 1987. The, the Pope that will be 
assassinated is the Jan Pavel II. And the next pope is the Benedict XVI, who, yes, indeed, he finished before the time. Okay, I continue. Sadly, he says that th this quatrain should be engraved in metal and sent to the prison pope, for a city watered by two rivers in the time of late spring, when the roses bloom, that is when and where he will be assassinated. He and Sir several of his entourage will be killed. You said before he would be assassinated when he was away one on one of his trips. Yes, he says find a major European city that is in the junction of two major rivers and tell the Pope to be aware of that place. He says it will be easy to spot on any decent map of Europe. But there are many cities that sit on rivers. He says a major city at the junction of two rivers that narrows it down more than you can know. It will be a major city that will just stand out at you. That's all we can do, I suppose. I just try to warn him. The quatrain was pretty clear. It was just a matter of uh, relating to the correct Pope. The page 196. Century 1 4. In the world there will be a made a king who will have little peace and a short life. At this time of the ship of the papacy will be lost, governed to its greatest detriment. detriment. He says that Altafte's quatrain has multiple meanings. The main one that you need to be aware of is that it refers to the Pope that will come between the present Pope and the last Pope. This one will have a short reign. He says that some of the political blunders and mistakes made by this Pope is is what makes it easier for the last pope to be a tool of the Antichrist. He says apply what you have learned from the other quatrains to this one and you get enough from it. Uh, he was just wanting to point out that the reign will be very short and that it will not be good for the church because it will bring about the final downfall. Century X 70. Because of an object, the eye will swell so much, burning so greatly, that the snow will fall. The watered fields will start to shrink when the primate dies at Reggio. He asked for the spelling of Reggio and I told him that it was Reggae in the French. Yes, he says that it's uh, correct. He says that, as usual, this has a multiple meaning. One of the things he was referring to was the object that causes the eye to swell and burn so greatly. It is a type of atomic device that's not, not exactly a bomb, that when set off it will do something to the planetary climate. It will displace an air mass that will upset the balance of hot and cold so that a greenhouse effect will get out of balance and run to the extreme and do drastic things to the climate, when in turn will affect agriculture. This sounds like the modern concept called nuclear winter. This is the theory that if we were to have a massive nuclear war, the clouds of dust and radioactivity would circle the earth and interfere with the climate to such a degree as to create a perpetual winter. He says that uh, would take place at the time when the Pope dies at Reggio or Reggae. Is that what he means by when the primate dies? I thought he was using symbolism because I think of a primitive a monkey. He says that refers to the Pope of the Catholic Church become 
because uh, another word for the Pope in this primate. He says, if you will look it up in the dictionary, you will find it in an addition to meaning an ape, that another definition will be a Pope of the Catholic Church. Is Reggio or city or what? Yes, it is a place in Italy. I am assuming this refers to the death of the second Pope because he indicates that the present Pope would be on one of his journeys when he is assassinated. He says that the alternative meaning for this verse is a metaphysical type of meaning. It is also foretelling some ruin to befall the Catholic Church. They will become ambitious again and seek to grasp more power than they should. Their eye will swell with pride and vanity, thinking they can handle whatever they desire to try after, and that will be their downfall. The light shining so brightly will be the ambitions they are grasping after. The snow falling is, is the cooling of those ambitious when they fail, and that will cause a great upheaval in the structure of the Catholic Church, with the Pope being the Detroit. He says that is a result the members, the people who follow the Catholic Church will fall away in great numbers to where the influence of the Catholic Church will shrink. And their watered fields, so to speak, their spare of influence will become much less. Yes, I can see that this quatrain does have two meanings. Does he think they will both happen at the same time. He really doesn't think so, but he put them in the same quatrain because they are similar in meaning. I think I am beginning to understand his thought processes. When this quatrain first began it to come true, I just could not imagine how it would be possible for the church to get into such trouble. It is a strong and powerful institution, but then the events concerning Jim Becker and the PTI club began to surface and the problems with Jimmy for followed close behind. This was predicted in Nostradamus quatrains about the false trumpet. Century 2, 27 and century 1, 40. In chapter 2nd, the uproar that these uh, events have created within the church makes it seem well within the realm of possibility that Nostradamus could be correct with these drastic predictions concerning the church. Century X71 The earth and air will freeze so much water when they come to venerate on. Thursdays. He who will come will never be as far as the few partners who come to honor him. He says, the first part of this quatrain is related to one of the meanings of the other quatrain. The second part of this quatrain is related to some other quatrains. He is already translated for you. He says, you will know which one when he gets through speaking. The elf and air freezing is another effect of atomic device that will throw everything out of kilter. Mentioned in the previous quadrant he just translated for you. He says that all manner of solutions will be tried to counteract what happened by the will be successful. In spite of the far words of the government to their people to try to keep them from panicking. He says, the other part of the quatrain, the person referred to who will come, who will not be as far as those who give honor a back prefers to the leader he spoke of who will arise out of the Middle East. In spite of his propaganda, forces putting out all the fair words and falsehoods about what grand and monstrous uh, things he will be doing for the world. It will not completely discuss that fact that the man is 